Hello you two, how everyone doing? I hope y'all enjoying the snow, cause I know I'm not. I wish it never snowed down here. For my fans, for my supporters, for people that just like the stuff that I talk about. I've been doing a few videos that I don't usually do. I usually do things on missing kids and other things like that. Well, like news coverage. Well, in this basically state my opinion. Well, this right here is uh, another opinion about Vaughn and Stormer Road. What I'd like to say about this is, first I'm going to start with Vaughn. It's basically a vice. Okay. I think it's very messed up, the fact that the stuff they're saying and stuff like that. Chelsea and Tasha K. It seemed to me that they were trying to keep you and Stormer Row. They didn't want y'all to be friends. So Tasha K and Chelsea decided to come up with some lies. <clears throat> but I don't care what kind of friends you are and you trying to kiss her ass or she's trying to kiss her ass regardless. But the accusations that you decide to do you tried to say that Stomero was just standing right there while he was just pushing himself on him. And basically in an in a instant, like he's trying to rape her. And do you understand in your brain that that type of allegation can get him arrested and get Stomero arrested because him being there. So with that also being said, do you know as a black woman that you too are? For you to sit there and lie through y'all teeth because you want him to hurt just because he hit it and quit it? Who gives a damn about that? He just got out of jail. Nigga probably was horny. And she probably looked cute to him for a little while. And then he started seeing her attitude and the type of person she is. And she, he came uninterested. I can understand that. What I also being said, for a woman to sit there and lie and say a guy was about to rape you or a guy had you on and held you down and tried to penetrate you without your permission, whether he did it or he started to do it, either way it goes, it's basically called rape. With that being said, you put a scenario out there that can hurt people. And that lie there should give you no fucking respect, Tasha K and Chelsea. That should give you no respect at all. Anybody that had a brother or a cousin or someone in any family that actually had someone lie on their person, family member or friend that they loved and cared about. And they went to jail for 5 to 10 years for rape. Or attempt rape. It's a very distasteful shit for you to anyone to fucking say. That's so distasteful for a woman to lie on a man like that. People like y'all make it hard for any fucking, you know how many rape victims have to get on the stand. And they gotta get drilled, grilled. About, well, why you get drunk or why you did this? And they go through their whole fucking sexual history and belittle the rape victim. It's like the rape victim, rape victim getting raped all over again. And it's because people like you, Tasha K, and you, Church Chelsea, it gets motherfuckers locked up for a long fucking time. And do you know how men are treated when they are in jail? They have that allegation on them. They can be killed, murdered in jail. Or worse than murder. So y'all need to think about that. And anybody that is following Tasha K or Chelsea, y'all should stop. Because that is the type of person you do not want to follow. That's the type of person you don't want to even deal with. For them two to even put that shit out there. And Tasha K, reason why Storm Moreau is 
mad at you, it's because the allegation of you saying that he do drugs, the allegation of you saying that he stood right there and did nothing is fucked up. And accessory to rape is kind of about the same amount of time. So that's double fuck the fuck up. You know how many guys have been falsely accused of rape and probably still in prison? Because they had to defend themselves? And Chelsea. Okay. He was your pen pal. You fell in love with him. But damn. You fell in love with him that little bit of damn time. Anybody that fall in love with somebody a week or a month of just knowing the dude. You crazy any damn way. Because I always know there's the same kind of females like you that fall for a dude quick. And then when things don't go their way, they freak out. They get on all these pedestals or whatever. They did just go around neighborhoods and are people that they know and lie on that person. That dude got kids. And he probably got a baby girl. And for you to say that, and that right there can put him in jail or probation and where he cannot be within 10 feet of anyone under the age of 18. Do the fuck you know what that means? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? And Storm Moreau. All that shit right there is because Tasha K can't talk about Cardi B no more. She had to take down her videos. So she's trying to save face. She's trying to get more drama. She's trying to stay irrelevant so she can get more views even while she's going through this court hearing stuff. But she thought it was going to be a walk in a cake, a walk in a fucking park. But guess what, Tasha K? I guess it's not a walk in the fucking park. With that being said, any of y'all, Vaughn, and um, Storm Moreau, is another message for both of y'all. They're psycho bitches. They're crazy as hell. They're the type that if any attention goes off them, they lose their fucking mind. And you go to the same therapist Tasha K is, you might want to change that therapist. You just change your whole building, go somewhere else. I already know why you have the fucking therapist because that bitch crazy and she drives you fucking nuts. Anyone can tell you that. Anyone can see that. That's the type of per- person Tasha K is. I'm sure it's countless, countless, and countless of fucking people. After she do a meeting with them, she put more lies out there. With that being said, I hope this video help a lot of people because motherfuckers that love a lot of attention on them the motherfuckers are crazy I had to deal with many of them I knew this chick that wanted attention from me and her boyfriend and I was hanging out with my man and she didn't want me to go down the street because she just want attention that damn bad so, with that being said, I know the type Tasha is. I know the type Chelsea is. Most women grow the fuck up and say, okay, he don't want me. Let the nigga leave. But you doing all this and it's showing another side of you that hopefully no crazy, no motherfucker deal with you. Because you sound crazy. You all in your feelings. You sound fucking crazy. So you want to make this guy life miserable? Trying to get some money out of the nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you? And that right there can't be a lie because that right there is on a video that I just seen. So I'm basically watching videos when I hear something new. I fucking talk about it. And this is coming from the people. So, and I did hear... See, when you sit there and make rumors about people... Chelsea rumors about people they don't like it and so they want to clear their name because they have a certain type of reputation 
So with that being said, and he Stone Roll got a reputation, so do Vine got a reputation. No one will walk around if, when lying like people lying like you saying that they did something to somebody. That's really distasteful. Something is wrong with you in constant TV. You might want to uh, disassociate yourself with Tasha K and Chelsea because she's a manipulative person. Both of them are. And if you think about it, how he was, she would, Chelsea was trying to talk to this, this guy and all that. They set all that up. But when Storm Moreau was trying to tell his side and basically trying to let Tasha know how he feel. She shut it down. She didn't get to let him talk. That would make anybody upset. You sit there and belittle the guy on fucking the internet. That's your problem. You need to stop it. And I hope even if you lose or win the case, but I know most likely you're going to lose. I hope they stop you from drinking your wine because wine down with Tasha K. That's probably your fucking reason that you are fucking so insane. Because you drink too fucking much. It unnumbed your ass. Like I said, broken people do crazy shit. Broken people do crazy shit. I don't know. Tasha didn't get her love. She got bullied when she was a kid or something. I don't know. I don't know her personally, but she might have got bullied by light-skinned people. So she have a lot of problem with light-skinned people. And she gets jealous, which she said that. She gets jealous when people, she feels, she gets afraid and jealous when people, channels start rising ahead of hers. Check it back on the constant TV. You'll see the video where Tasha K was talking about that. So it came from out of her mouth. Also, what came from out of her mouth on conscious conscience TV was she had a friend that had a drug dealer, a drug dealer boyfriend, and this immaculately, this imaginally. After she find out the guy doing drugs, selling drugs, or whatever the case may be, then she didn't want to deal with the girl no more. So, two days later, SWAT came to the her former homegirl's house and asking her what was her boyfriend. Do you think that was a coincidence? It was two days after Tasha K. Friend told her. Oh, he sell packages. Then all of a sudden, SWAT comes to the girl's house. So, with that say, that is another key point on what type of person Tasha K is. She, she'd give it to you a little bits by little bits. You want to know something else? I see a resemblance to somebody else you know very dearly. For Tommy Sotomayor fucking followers. Don't this, don't, Tasha K kind of got some of his traits or something? Crazy, ain't it? Alright y'all, I'm going to let you go. Tasha K, get more counseling. Get your head right. Chelsea, you need a lot of counseling. Stormer Roll and Vaughn. Stay far away from Chelsea and Tasha K. Because they are, hoo, 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 hoo. they're crazy. With that being said, which everybody already know that, with the craziness, they're liars. So, with liars, craziness, and Chelsea already know that. That's her mentor. She learned it from her. When people make her mad, then they go on rants. And people that goes on rants, didn't Tasha K say, that's one of the signs when someone's on coke? It came out of Tasha's mouth. 
saying that, oh, maybe somebody might be right. Well, maybe somebody's right about you, Tosh K. I seen the video of you going on a rant about lovely T. You call her a pill popper. So, with that being said, you call her a pill popper. You call her a lot of other names. So, but I also seen the video. Well, it wasn't a video. It's a voice recording of you talking all nicey. Friends don't do friends that even if they fall out. And as soon as you, that lovely T didn't want to deal with you. You flipped the fuck out. Like somebody had really bad issues. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the show. I like to do it like this. I like to get the information come out the other that person's mouth. So it cannot be hearsay. Y'all have a good one. This video is long as hell.